It was the morning of the second day of my road trip and I decided to start it by taking a walk down memory lane. I would like to show you something really nice here. When I was a kid, I used to be crazy about dinosaurs. I knew all the different names and all the different species. And so for my ninth birthday, my parents and my sister decided to make this absolutely cute and adorable styrofoam dinosaur for me as a present. And then for many years it hung in my first room in the house until I moved into a different room. And then we all decided to put him on the wall of this garage where he's been for the last 27, 28 years guarding the cars. And he's been doing that really well because nothing was ever stolen. Then, after a few relaxing days with my parents, it was finally time to hit the road again and continue my way to the south. Good morning. Today I'm going to drive through the Black Forest from Baden-Baden to Freudenstadt and then to Basel in Switzerland where I'm going to meet my friend Hörvoje and his family. I've got quite a long way ahead of me, so I'd better get going. Let's hit the road. My way towards the Black Forest took me onto the A8 towards Karlsruhe and then the A5 towards Basel. After a while, I arrived in Baden-Baden, a famous health resort in the Black Forest. But soon I realized that maybe I should have done a bit more research for my trip. Alright, I just parked the car here in Baden-Baden, which is the starting point of the so-called Schwarzwald Hochstraße, which is one of the scenic routes through the Black Forest. I know that this road goes from Baden-Baden to Freudenstadt and is approximately 60 kilometers long and must be beautiful, but I don't know exactly where it starts, so I'm going to try to find the starting point. Wish me luck. But of course I didn't have any. And so after a bit of cruising around aimlessly, I decided to stop and ask for directions. Okay, I just got another lead here at a gas station, so I'm going to try to follow that lead and find the Schwarzwald Hochstraße. Wish me luck. However, things only got worse from here. Okay, I still haven't found it, but now I parked the car in front of a hotel Waldhorn where it says bikers are welcome. So hopefully they can give me some more hints where this mysterious Schwarzwald Hochstraße will start. Hopefully. But I immediately abandoned all my hopes when I approached the front door of the hotel, which seemed less than welcoming. Had my search for driving heaven instead led me to the gates of hell? Was I destined for disaster? Was I destined for the eternal fires of the underworld? Gates of hell? Underworld? That's a bit extreme. I mean, maybe that hotel was just closed for the day and the owners had a day off. Jesus. Who writes this stuff? But I didn't want to give up just yet. And finally, I found a local who seemed to be able to give me proper directions. 
Okay, it is absolutely beautiful out here, but as I just learned from an elderly lady on the road, it is still not the Schwarzwald Hochstraße. So I have to turn back, go back to the other village, and then uh, try to find it. And eventually I did. And it turned out to be everything that any passionate driver could ever hope for. This is absolutely amazing, it's so cool. After a few hours of pure driving pleasure, I arrived in Freudenstadt in the northeast part of the Black Forest. Unfortunately, I didn't have any time to stop and explore the city, as it was getting late in the afternoon and I still had to drive to Basel. So I headed back to the outskirts of the Black Forest and continued my way south on the Autobahn. some time on the road, I approached the Swiss border. But before I could enter the country, there was one more thing for me to do. All right, I just made a stop before the Swiss border to buy the Swiss tax sticker for the motorways, the Vignette. And now I'm about to enter Switzerland and visit my friend Hervoje. After a warm welcome from my friend and his family, we had a lovely evening together and then got some well-deserved rest. The next morning, Hurvoyer took me on a trip to the truly beautiful city of Luzern in central Switzerland where we spent a few hours walking around and exploring the historical city center. After this little trip, we decided to head back to Basel and use the afternoon to explore the city by bike.
and thus ended an eventful couple of days. But my adventure was just getting started. Was macht er denn jetzt schon wieder? Er nennt es Yoga. Yoga? Das sieht aber nicht nach Yoga aus. Ist es auch nicht. <lacht> 